basically we started working on Mayo um, as a, this way to build interfaces for new types of computers. And so we thought that going to the future, we're moving away from like, this idea of desktop computers, so it's going to your desk and sitting on a computer with a, a keyboard and a mouse and all that. The way to come up with doing that is using, actually reading your muscle activity. So that's what Mayo does. It basically it picks up the electrical signals from muscles in your forearm to detect um, your gestures and motions based on that. So you don't have to have anything in your hand or pick up any device to actually interact with computers. Um, and specifically, we were thinking about wearable computing. So at some point in the future, when you have yeah, heads of display on smart glasses or something down the road, how do you interact with that? And like, what's the mouse and keyboard of sort of the next version of computer? So the initial idea for Maya was actually as um, this interface for a smart glasses device or heads of display. Um, so you'd be walking through the world and you will interact with content you're seeing on the screen. Um, and then pretty quickly we realized that kind of the same problem um, framed in slightly different ways is how do you interact with like devices all around you and sort of environments, again, away from sitting at the desk. And so it was never designed as this device, like replace your mouse if you're sitting on your computer. It's always been about if you're sitting on the couch with your computer on the screen or you're walking through your house, or you're walking down the road, like how do you interact with technology or you're in your car?